Hello there guys, I've put up my Pentium 4 again and also as you can see I got myself a new monitor for our computer projects although I have enough monitors I got this one for relatively cheap only 20 bucks and it's a little bigger I think it's 22 inches so much better than that crappy old one and uh, yeah a widescreen for once but anyway what we will focus on today is this now um, a while ago we built this PC then it didn't work and then I fixed it and in that video where I fixed it uh, and installed the drivers and all that I said that I will paint it and that's what we will do today so that's very exciting I haven't painted a computer in a long time we're not gonna go with black for once because it's just such a generic color at this point so um, yeah to make this a little more fresh a little better looking I'm gonna go with yeah it, it's a sort of orange and uh, I found it in my local hardware store and I got it because it looked pretty good and it's also the color from the Pentium 4 so that that's pretty pretty funny coincidence there and also it's a little different I will dismantle this because I'm not gonna paint it as a whole uh, it's just convenient in this in this case uh, I will just take all the sides off and uh, paint them one by one so I can also let them dry and then we'll see how the end result looks like so our first piece here is done and I gotta say I like the color it's starting to look pretty good however we have run into an issue which I didn't consider first but I should have and that is because I'm not taking a dark color all this shit here that I painted and wrote on it is still here yeah that's kind of unfortunate that kind of sucks now as you can see i already messed up here because here we have some runaway overspray however you hate however you say it i don't know but you know i'm no professional uh painter at all and anybody who can do it really nicely i do envy them so piece number two turned out way nicer than piece number one so I kind of know how to take the uh, rattle can a little smoother uh, anyway as you can see this is the, the panel which has the most crap on it and this is all gonna be visible and so before you say why can't you do one thing perfectly or properly well I'm sorry yes you're just at the wrong address here on this channel but um, I have an idea now not a lot I can do against that that's probably gonna be yeah on there but you know those vinyl wrap things well what I will try is at least on this panel and on that panel I will do like a black vinyl stripe or something to cover over this crap makes it look a little better and also I'm covering up this crap only that this side is, yeah, it's gonna have this cat on here with the wrong AMD because it's not an AMD. Um, but uh, yeah, maybe I'll just glue over here that vinyl wrap too. We'll see. But the right side is the side room. We'll not bother with too much. All right, it's the next day and um, it is dried. And let's see how it looks like. And uh, yes, I didn't paint this. Hmm. Let me try to open that up. Okay, got it open and yeah, this turned out somewhat the way I want it. Whoa, it's falling, it's falling, it's falling. Uh, not yet, okay. Um, now, I did not paint this here because I was too lazy or something, but to give this a little bit of a contrast because I have also painted the bezel so the optical drive the floppy and all that and also all of this is orange so if this would also be orange it would be kind of a little uh, well very orange okay now it happened <laughs> um, so I decided it's very easy and convenient to just close this up and paint right over it so I didn't even have to do some masking off and nothing and then when you open this up we have this cool contrast. So let me get the other pieces, uh, reassemble the computer and see how this turned out. And I'm uh, really liking the way it turned out here in the front. 
that is definitely nice that I did this last because the first panel uh, kind of sucks, but you know, whatever. You're always learning. So, got all the panels here, and I really have to say I love how this turned out. I really did it right. So, this is probably my favorite uh, job I did here. Um, not quite the floppy here. Here I have a big mess, but also this panel. But you know what? I love how this turned out. This this is such an offensive color, such an unusual color. I'm glad I went with this instead of something generic. So, <laughs> yeah, can't wait to reassemble this and see how it looks. So we are getting there. It's starting to look cool. Much cooler than I really expected with this contrast. I'm glad I did that. Um, now, uh, yeah, the alignment isn't perfect, but that's mostly because maybe quality control and such wasn't all that much of a thing with this case. Um, so, yeah, uh, I still have to put on this bezel for the optical drive. Can only do that once it's out. And I don't know, we got some imperfections like power button. That should be that should be orange and also this button here um but you know what i don't care this, this is fine as it is for me and yeah it's it's way cooler than i imagined so let me finish it up and then we'll close it up for good i have to find some fitting screws though because this panel requires uh, some longer ones Okay, our orange box is completed and as you can see it's even a little reflective. I kind of like that. Anyway, um, I like how it turned out. I really do. I'm glad I did it in this color. Yeah, you can still see all that crap on here, but yeah, I have something for you in another part where we will take care of that. But anyway, it's a little rough around the edges, quite literally. As you can see here, I forgot. Um, and you know, but uh, generally, I like it. Also the front turned out really nice. And I can't say that I could have done it all that much better here. I mean, this is almost perfect. I'm really glad I did that last because there I kind of got the hang of it. So when we open this up, which still works this way, um, we, we can see here the cool contrast. Don't worry, I'll put that on right away. Of course, it still works. And yeah, I painted over those LEDs, but you know what, they weren't so bright anyway to begin with. Now, I know that some of you might say, ah, oh, you're doing this half-assed, another one of your half-assed projects. Well, yeah. I know. <laughs> the thing with me is just my motto is sometimes to better do it half ass than do nothing at all. And then, you know, being caught up in making everything so perfect that you're not doing it anyway. Rather just do it. And hey, I'm really happy how it turned out. So um, now I'm not done with its modifications just yet. Well, actually, the modifications have just started. Um, I will still, as I said, put some vinyl wrap or something on it to cover up the mess, which is really ugly, especially that side. But I'll, I'll worry more about this perspective, let's say. So we'll make like a cool pattern or something in there. And what I will also do, and that's uh, once again a little more technical, that's maybe interesting too. I have here this USB cable, which can be plugged in right to the USB header on the motherboard. And it's conveniently in those, I don't know, brick size, whatever. And so what I'm thinking is, I can just hot glue those two to one of these panels. Actually, you know what? Let me put that back on so we can complete it for once. So, now, oh. Yeah, now it's all nice and orange. So what I was talking about is maybe just creating two holes where we can then let those USB ports see through 
hot glue him onto the panel, which is not a big deal. And also then it's modular, then it's not like built right into the case in case I want to remove it and such. So that is pretty cool. And it will give me USB on the front, which this is lacking. And maybe we'll do that such a similar thing with the audio, if I can find an audio panel. I have to look into one of my older cases. And uh, yeah, then we'll think what else we can do. So for future mods, the vinyl wrap, whatever slash cover up of this, that will definitely come. Then I will make that power button also a different color because it's kind of boring this way and a reset maybe and the usb and we'll see what else we do but for now i love how it turned out it's pretty cool especially when it's just when this is closed up like that and there, then it's even more orange <laughs> okay so guys thanks a lot for watching quite enjoyed this project and uh, stay tuned because maybe we'll do some more modding on this very soon